Hello stampers, Kelly Atchison at stampabove.com coming to you live from Menasha, Wisconsin. I hope you guys are having a good Friday. I have been super duper busy today. I got a late start to my day and uh, I had to get some, well I got some projects made last night. I have a blog hop that goes live today and um, tonight actually at 8 p.m. So I had some projects that I had to get finished. I kind of made most of them last night, but then I had to do a video and then my video upload failed and technology is really fun when it works, but not so much when it doesn't. Hi Judy, Lisa, Bonnie. I saw some people pop in before that and I can't remember. <laughs> Connie's here. Welcome. What did you guys do today? What is happening at your homes? Um, I have been a little preoccupied with the news. I, I tend to like to know what's going on. And so I've been watching a lot of the news and it's a little, you know, disconcerting, but I like to stay informed. So I don't want to be the person with my head in the sand. I want to know what's going on. So what did you do at your house today? I worked. <laughs> yeah, so, and I helped Steve figure out his phone. Did you know Samsung changed their plug-in? So now the Sam's, all the cords we have for his Android phone don't work. Yeah. Why? 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 Why do they do that? I know it's to make money, but it's so frustrating. Hi, Nancy Salbre. I'm so happy to see you. Julie's here. Uh, Lisa said she is working on research report for school. Good for you. That's perfect. I looked up um, uh, app called Duolingo, and I thought Anna was saying that Molly was has a lot of energy. <laughs> she can't really do anything about it. And I said, well, maybe something fun would be to go on this app called Duolingo and um, learn how to speak Spanish. That's something constructive, and it's a really fun website. Well, we did it on, on the computer, but you can do it on your phone, too. Really fun website to learn how to speak Spanish. We did it for my job. I worked for the Presbytery organization. We had a bunch of people coming in from um, South America. So, oh, and Mary said she's from Ontario, Canada. She worked, but she's ready to craft. Yeah, I'm getting kind of a late start today, right? Um, I just realized a, a little while ago, well, an hour ago, that it was 5 o'clock. I'm like, oh, my Lord. And I was like just scrambling to get something together. But I had to get my blog post ready and my video uploaded before I could do anything else. So Rhonda says they have the same problem with phone cords. Oh, it's so frustrating. So Steve, um, Steve was kind of thinking about getting an iPhone and I think I talked him out of it because it's really hard to learn a new program phone. I don't know. Anyways, hi Pat, hi Francie, Jenny, happy to see you. Nancy's coming in. She had the day off and she gets to watch me the best day this week. Yay. <laughs> hi Lori, Diana, welcome. So do you guys see these back here? Let me grab them. So today I had a delivery and I wasn't going to answer the door. <laughs> I thought it was the UPS man. They always knock on the door or ring the doorbell and then leave. Look at these beauties. Aren't they so pretty? These flowers came from Connie Piasecki. I hope I say your last name right, but you know who you are. And she just said that she appreciates all I do and my Facebook lives and online tutorials. She says, thanks for all the creations and all the laughs. How sweet is that? That is super duper sweet. And if you remember, and you probably don't, but Connie is the one that gave me the sea salt caramels from her candy shop and I'm up in Michigan and got me hooked on those babies. So, yeah. Thank you, Connie, for the beautiful flowers and my new love of sea salt caramels. <laughs> Um, Rose is asking if I can show you how to do, ugh, hang on, I got to get this rolling on my screen here because it's scrolling too fast. Hi, Ashley. Hi, Ginny. 
Rose just asked, I think, if I can do magnetic closures. So let me find your question here, Rose. And dog on it, it's so, it's just flew right by me. Maybe it's not coming up on my screen here yet. Ah, Connie's on here. And I did good with her last name. Yay. Good deal. Um, I'm not real familiar, Rose, with magnetic closures. I mean, I've used them a couple times. I don't know that I really have mastered them. I know <clears throat> the really thin ones are better for card making. So, Rose is talking about there's a magnetic closure in here. I can feel it. I can't see it. But I know that it's there. I can feel it. It must be a really thin one. And then it's under the designer paper on here because you can see that it, it, yeah, it's pretty cool. And then also on the card that I got from um, Cheryl, this also has a magnetic closure and you can kind of see it. Oh, it's, I don't think you guys are going to be able to see it, but I can see where it's kind of right there. It's a very, very tiny Yep, look, little teeny weeny weeny magnet. And so those are really cool, right? Because they keep your cards closed when your cards want to open. Yeah. So I see I've got lots of people in here now. Hi, Peggy. I'm happy to hear reports that Virginia is doing good. So I'm always happy to see those updates on Facebook. Hi, Cindy. You missed me yesterday, but you watched the replay. That's awesome. Um... I have some prizes to give away. So let's get on that right away. Da, where'd they go? They're here. Okay. I even have the mailers ready to go in the mail. So yesterday I said that we would be giving away this stamp set. You want to make sure that you're leaving a comment on the video so that, or later on YouTube when you're watching it there, because I've been loading them to YouTube, um, and then you'll get entered in the drawing to win things. I have lots of things to give away to celebrate my 16th anniversary yesterday with Stampin' Up. So um, this is the Hello Cupcake stamp set. And I forgot to mention yesterday where, here it is, the beard on, oh, sorry, I just like slammed my knee into my desk. The beard on this little leprechaun dude, that's made with the top of the cupcake. Isn't it cute? Yeah, that's pretty genius, right? I thought so. Um, oh, wait, I set that wrong. There we go. So I'm giving this away, and our big winner of the Hello Cupcake stamp set is Sharon Moyer. Yay, Sharon! Woohoo! Okay, next. Remember all the uh, all the stamp sets that I got in the mail yesterday from people who wanted to donate them? Well, Little Ladybug is what we're going to be using today to make a cute little fun fold. You guys know I love fun folds. Like, do you ever go, oh my lord, she's making another fun fold. Does anybody do that? I'm hoping you don't because I don't think we can be friends, first of all. <laughs> No, we could be friends. It's okay. It's okay. But um, I do love fun folds. So this stamp set is I drew off of YouTube, the comments on YouTube. And Barbara Shupinis is the winner of this stamp set. And let's see, Barbara is from Bethlehem, Connecticut. And then we have Sharon won this one from Betchelsville, Pennsylvania. So we got a lot of East Coast things going on here. That's great. All right, I will get those out in the mail tomorrow. It's going to be Saturday, so the mail will run tomorrow. Don't forget that I am live on, Ashley says never. She will never get give me the, oh, she's making another fun fold. Thank you. I know, Rose, I do too, right? I just love fun folds. They're so fun. Yeah. So today... I decided to whip out the Little Ladybug set. I know everything's backwards when I show it to you like this, you guys, but um, I don't know if we're still having the flashing problem when I mirror my screen so that you can read these and they're not backwards. So I'm just not even going to go there. We're not going to be needing to read anything this way. You'll be good when I put you down on my table. But look at how stinking adorable this is. This Little Ladybug set is just the cutest little thing. And then we have the ladybug dies. And there's some cute flowers that not only die cut but emboss. 
There's a leaf that die cuts and embosses, and then there's some grass. This is a grass die. Um, here's a stem and some leaves. Holy cow. And then, of course, dies for all of the ladybugs, the big flower. You can do the whole big flower. You can do just the flower part and not the stem. Here you can do the stem. And we've got this little loop-de-doop-de -de thing. And we're going to use the loop-de-doop-de -de thing on the card that I made tonight. It was a last-minute decision. I'm like, oh, look at that. I think that will be cute on my card, and it will be, and we'll see. <laughs> so super duper cute little ladybug set. Um, I do have a few more of these too, but I wanted to show you where that ladybug set is coming from. Celebration, right? It is the happiest time of year for stampers. Um, the biggest promotion that Stampin' Up! puts on for every $50 you order, you get a free item out of this brochure. Now, this is um, basically for people who have parties, but you don't have to have a party to earn the stamp set, and you do get it completely free, but you do need to place a $300 order. So this is what Stampin' Up! is rewarding hostesses with that have parties. Now, I've had a couple people have online parties. They both earned the Little Ladybug stamp set with their online parties. If anybody's interested in doing that, let me know, because I'm pretty good at it. We do only have until March 31st to make it happen. And I can make it happen very, very fast. So if you're interested, let me know. Or you can put in an order for $300, or you can take, um, you can send out my catalog link to friends and have a catalog party. When it reaches $300, you get this. So there's a bunch of different ways to do that if you'd like to get your hands on this, or you can just cross your fingers and hope you're gonna win it from me. <laughs> yeah, so. There we go. Little ladybug. Super, super cute. Okay. Are we ready to stamp? I think we are ready to stamp. So I think I'm going to flip our camera around. I'm going to move my thing back here. My thing. My laptop. What is she talking about? What are you guys drinking tonight? You know what I'm drinking, right? Hi, Colleen Miller. And I see Dana is here from Georgia and Tina. Yay. Mmm. I got through all my emails yesterday, but I haven't looked at them yet today because I've been super, super busy. I was going to take a nap too, but that didn't happen. I like to take naps. Who likes to take naps? I do. And then I stay up to like three in the morning. Sometimes my husband gets up and I haven't even gone to bed yet. I know, but you know, it's all relative. If I take a two hour nap, I usually stay up till one or so, then I stay up a couple hours longer. I still get my six or seven hours of sleep, so it doesn't really matter, right? Yeah. Okay, I think we're ready to flip. Was there anything else I was gonna tell you about? I don't think so. Okay, <laughs> Robin says, I need this ladybug. Robin, have a catalog party, or you can have a Facebook party. They're really fun, I do all the work, and you get all the benefits. <laughs> It's a win-win. All right, if anybody wants to know more about that, by the way, you can contact me. You can instant message me on Facebook. You can email me at kelly at stampabove.com. I would be happy to answer all your questions, but it really is a very easy process and something that I do all the work for. So you can get the little ladybug set. Okay, we're flipping. Sarah says she loves naps. I do too, I'm not even about that. I love naps. It's like, oh, when you wake up from a nap, you're just like, oh, this is heavenly. So you guys might notice that I have a new host code here. Um, I switched it up a little bit. I started a new host code. This is the one you want to use if your order, if you place an order with me, and I always appreciate them. If your order is under $150, you will use this code. If it's over $150, don't use the code. You're going to get rewards from Stamping Up, and I definitely want you to have them. But if your order is under $150, you don't get any rewards. So use the code, and that allows me to give away stuff, right? Okay, big bonus. Let me get my lights in here. I don't like it when things glare at you. So here's what we're using. And isn't this crazy? You're like, but Kelly, Valentine's Day was in February and it's over. I know. But this paper can still be used. And I know a ton of you bought it. The, the, the little patterns that don't have any hearts in them. 
and even this one's super cute, but they're perfect to use with the Little Ladybug stamp set. So when I decided I was going to make a card with this bundle, I knew I had to go to my From the Heart Specialty Designer Series paper. And you can see it's foily. Is that a word? Foily. Yeah. It's shiny, and I love shiny things. Who doesn't love shiny things? Okay. I'm going to bring in my bits and pieces. Oh, I forgot to look this up. Who knows what's, what is that folder called, you guys? I cannot remember. Um, I was going to look it up, and then I forgot. So I'm waiting for somebody to tell me. It's got dotties on it. <laughs> yeah, yeah, Kelly, we know, right? Okay, so here comes all of my bits and pieces. Somebody's going to tell me what the folder is called. Oh, I'm going to keep that over here. And this over here. I always like the element of surprise. I don't like to show you the cards that we're making ahead of time. It's a thing. <laughs> it's just a thing. Okay. Oh, and I just realized I need my big shot. It's called Eyelet Lace. Thank you, Ashley. Eyelet Lace embossing folder is the one we're going to make. I got to grab my big shot. Hang tight. Take a drink. I had it, Haley was here today, and she had it over on the other side of the room. So she got all my swap cards for two swaps. I'm in two swaps with the brand new Ornate Garden um, bundle. Oh, and that reminds me, you guys. So, so I saw some messages come through today. I didn't open them and read them, but I saw people were asking me about the Ornate Garden um, bundle that's coming out. And I will have an online class with this bundle in April. What I want to tell you about it is their question is, should they order it right away April 1st or should they wait for my class? Here's what I'm going to tell you. You order this suite right away whenever you want to. If you order it from me, you will get my online class for free and the pre-cut cardstock pack as a bonus when you order the suite from me. Whether you do it through my online class registration or on your own, and I'd rather you have this right away than to wait for me and wait for my online class. So you order it right away through me, you will get the class for free. That's how I run my online class. So um, did I like go too fast? This is beautiful. And Haley made two gorgeous cards using this bundle of products. And can I say she absolutely loved it. And both cards have gold foil paper in them. So when you're ordering this, you'll want to get some gold foil paper to go with it because that was spectacular. The other thing that you might want is the gold. Oh, I'm trying to reach for it. Oh, I, I can't find it here. She must. Oh, I bet you she has it in a bin. The gold, the gold edged ribbon to go with that ornate garden is beautiful. As would be, um, hang on. My head is just swirling this ribbon. I don't know if this is available just yet. Did this go on back order? The metallic edge ribbon. This is petal pink. Super pretty. Would also go nicely with that ornate garden. But order it whenever you want. If you order it from me, you're going to get my class for free. Okay, let's get to our project. I put this note on here so I wouldn't mess this up. All right, we are going to be making what is called a lap over fun fold. And Shelly Glassick is part of my team. She sent me a swap card from our team meeting using the lap over fun fold. And I thought, oh, this would work perfect with the ladybug. So let me get my bearings together here. I need to bring in my paper trimmer. And I'm going to set this aside. This is the front panel layer I'm thinking as I'm talking um, this layer is three and a quarter by six and an eighth and these are the only these everyday Facebook lives that I'm doing I'm not typing up dimensions I'm just telling them to you on the video so if you want to write that down the front panel is three and a quarter by six and an eighth and I'm going to score this at a half an inch so scored on the long side at a half an inch. So this is what we have right here. Boom. Okay. I think we're done with this. Now I can tell you about the rest of this. <clears throat> this is our card base. It is just a single piece that is five 
whoops, I'm sorry, four and a quarter by five and a half. I've got Whisper White here. This was our front panel. We need a piece of designer series paper. And again, I used the From My Heart specialty paper because who doesn't think that polka dots and gold, red foil, gold foil, red foil is gonna go with the ladybug set, right? Yeah, exactly. Four by five and a quarter. And then, did I say the inside piece? This is three by five and a half. And then you need a scrap of the, whatever designer paper you're gonna use, I'm using a scrap of this. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna bring our big shot in here and do some things. Let me grab the beast. I'm gonna take my scrap of designer series paper here and I'm going to die cut a circle out of it. Now these are from the layering circles. I'll tell you, you know, it just needs to be however big your image is. So it doesn't matter how big the circle is, but it just needs to be however big your image is gonna be. Because we're gonna make a peek through um, window in a second. Okay, so this, I don't need that. What I need is this. Now I'm gonna bring in a bigger size layering circle of a scallop. Do you guys know what I'm doing? I'm making a frame here. So you wanna make sure that you get that even in your peek through window. Don't let it move around on you. No, Vicki, I said, I do not show you the cards that I make ahead of time because I really like the element of surprise. So, but that's a great question. And here is our little, this is gonna be a little frame. All right, now I'm going to take the piece that we scored, and again, this is our front panel, three and a quarter by six and an eighth, scored at a half an inch. I'm going to take this, and now I have to stand up. Things are getting real now, I have to stand up. I'm gonna put this about right here. Okay, so it's down about an inch, and it's centered from side to side. And we're going to cut a circle. So this is going to be our peek through window on the front panel of our card. Here we go. Okay. Next, I'm going to keep this piece and I'm going to put it in the eyelet embossing folder. Is that what it was called, Ashley? I think it was called eyelet embossing folder. I need to change my platform here because I'm using a magnetic platform. This is one of our skinny folders. So you use a cutting plate on the top and the bottom, and then you're gonna bring in your bottom platform without the um, shim on top. Make sure I get it lined up in here so I don't wreck it. Because you know that if you leave your embossing folders hang out the edge, your Big Shot will eat them. It is a monster. Hi, Kim, how are you? Happy to see you here. Kim is one of my good customers, friends, and I know she's a teacher, so she's home now too. Okay, this is what we did. Now we've still got that score line there. We're gonna fold that over. Then we're gonna bring our frame in here. Oh, I was gonna take my lid off, but I never put it on. We're gonna put our frame in here. I'm just gonna add a little bit of glue, get some on my fingers so that I have a nightmare of a time, you know, you know the routine. You know how this works. Wipe it on my pants. This is going to fit around here just perfect. Isn't that pretty? It's already pretty. Okay, as long as we're here working with this. I've got the cotton ribbon, and this is, I think, 3 8 inch, or is it half inch? Hang on. 3 8 inch cotton ribbon. I'm going to tie a bow with this. Haley had to tie a whole bunch of bows for her swap cards. She did a really good job, too. It was impressive. She's a little rusty, she said. She's like, oh, I'm so rusty at this because she hasn't stamped in a long time. But I'm very grateful to have her helping me because she is... I don't hold a candle to her and her creativity. Like, she's really creative. She's got very good taste, good style. So yeah, I'm really, really lucky to have her. Okay, here's our little bow. That may be a little big, but we can see. I'm going to add a mini glue dot to it. 
and I'm going to put it right here. Boom. Okay. Let me put my dies away so I do not lose them. I'll set them right over here on my flooring sample. <laughs> right. Here comes our card again now. So we've got the inside panel here is what we need to stamp. So what I like to do, and maybe you guys are better than I am, but what I like to do is I like to do a dry fit here. So I'm going to take a little bit of snail adhesive, whoops, and I'm just gonna put a little bit on here to hold this in place just for now. And then I'll add some glue when I'm ready to really make it permanent. So we'll do this, okay. This piece, we're gonna come in here and fold that top edge over, just like that. Now I need this to be centered side to side. I'm gonna bring in a pencil, and I'm going to very lightly draw a circle there. Now you may be better than I am, you can figure out a different way to do this, but this is what I'm comfortable with. And I know that my little image is gonna be in the right place. So I picked this little ladybug that's kind of looking behind her. And yes, all ladybugs are female. Did you guys know that? No, oh, I'm just kidding. <laughs> I don't know. That's not true, I'm sure. But it sounded good, didn't it? So I'm just gonna stamp my little ladybug right there. And look how cute she is. My ladybugs are all gonna be girls and I can make them all girls because they're my ladybugs and I can do what I want. So, <laughs> I'm going to come in here with my, oh, this is Poppy Parade. That's why it looked different yesterday. I wanted red. I shouldn't say yesterday, earlier today. So, I was coloring with Poppy, but I want it to be red. So, I'm using red, whoops, and I'm going to do my dark red first. Now, somebody asked me yesterday if I could zoom my camera in while I'm doing this. I cannot. Um, on Facebook Live, I cannot zoom in, and I tried one time, I disconnected everybody, it was a horrible situation, and I won't do it again. But what I do recommend is if you're watching on your phone, if you're watching the tall way, you want to turn your phone so that it looks like a TV screen, it'll be bigger. And you can also watch on the replay um, on a different device that has a bigger screen, but I can't zoom in when I am on my Facebook Live. So like I said, the last card I made was Poppy Parade. I, I grabbed the wrong markers here. I'm using real red right now. And you just keep blending until you don't see those scribble marks. And oh, the shading on the edge here where I used the dark one and now I'm using the light one is just so pretty. And I see I just screwed up, hang on. I've got a color lifter here and that's what they're for. I just went out of the lines just a touch. Just gonna pick that color back up with that. It's like magic, I don't understand how it works, but whatever. <laughs> I don't ask a lot of questions when things work. We all ask questions when they don't though, don't we? <laughs> yeah, I like that too. And you just keep coloring and blending until you get it all colored in. Look how cute that is, right? All right, next. I'm going to bring in my Ivory Stampin' Blend marker and I'm going to color my little ladybug's face. I don't know why, but I just had a need for her to have some color on her face. And then we've got her hands and her feet. I don't think ladybugs really have hands, but mine does. She's super cute and very talented. <laughs> and erase. Now we're gonna erase, and this is a really nice, this is a Bic Velocity mechanical pencil. I have a couple packs of these and I love them. They come in a two pack. I mean, you, I know you guys probably don't need any, but they come in a two pack and I got them at Walmart and I, I love that their lead is thicker because I'm a, I like thicker pens too, but yeah, these work really good for me and the eraser's good on them too. Okay, enough about pencils. Let's get back to stamping. So, oh, you know what I forgot to do? So this is why we did temporary. Ah, yay, Kelly. Um, I wanna use that die. So I wanna pull in this cutie patootie little die right here. This does little dashy lines. And I thought, how stinking adorable would that be to have some little dash lines right there? 
before I do my dash lines, nope, I'm going to do my dash lines first. So let's do that. Let's bring that big shot back in. And I need to bring back in, well, I can actually just put the shim on there. You guys might have a shim like this. You're going to need that for die cutting, right? I'm going to put the shim in here and a cutting plate. This is a die. It's not going to cut, but it's going to more emboss, but we're still going to use it just like a die. How did I want to do that? Oh, I wanted to do it like this. That's what I wanted to do. Oh, look at how cute that's going to be. Okay. Hang on. Don't want it to move. There we go. It doesn't feel like it's doing anything too. Like I thought I had my stacking wrong when I made my other card, but um, it worked just fine. Look at that. Oh, how cute is it? I know. I was, I was like, oh, that's adorable. All right, let me put my die back so I don't lose it here. Now remember, these dies um, also, uh, the sale on those is over on March 31st too, if my memory serves me correctly. And let's see, the coordinated da, 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 January through June mini catalog. Um, I got all kinds of stuff here. This March 31st, okay? And these ladybug dies are $29. Item code 153588. But don't forget, you have to have a $300 order or have a party to get the stamp set. So just want everybody to realize that. But they are super cute. Look how fun that is, right? Okay, I think we are ready to put our card together. That's what I think. Okay, I am going to, oh, and by the way, this piece is our Whisper White Thick. I don't think it really matters, but that's what I always use for bases. So um, I'm going to take this piece and put this back on here. So let's put this together going to do this, add some glue here. I'm going to center this back on my layer, just like this. I'm going to quick bring this in here and make sure, yep, my little ladybug is still right there where she needs to be. Now I'm going to add some glue to this tab. And again, you can put this together any way you want, but this is how it worked well for me. And you're just going to center this from side to side and push that tab down just like that okay and then we're gonna bring in our card base and we're going to put this on here oh you know what you guys that designer series paper I may have said that wrong it is actually four by five and a half I might have said five and a quarter but it's four by five and a half because I just have strips down the sides. There's no border at the top or the bottom where the designer paper meets the white. Look at how cute that is. Okay, we're not done yet because I wanted a little sentiment on here. So I decided to take the, um, um, hey lady, I thought that would be cute. So we're gonna use Versamark ink and we're going to stamp hey lady on here. And then I have white embossing powder. And I'm going to do this. Da, 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 da. I like to blow on it some big puffs of air. Okay, and then we're going to heat set. Oh, and you should always close your Versamark before you get your embossing powder out. Just a good rule of thumb. Heat tool, it's gonna get a little loud. Hang tight. This is my old decrepit heat tool. I've had this for probably 16 years. I dropped it and the end fell off of it, so I have to be really careful because that metal part will burn me. My new heat tool is packed up right now and I'm too lazy to get it. So, heat tool works like a heat tool. Okay, now I'm going to take this and I'm going to cut it and I'm going to do my little fancy cutty outy thing. Now, if you don't like this, you could just cut this in a little thin strip below, above and below the words, but I see the Stampin' Up! Artisans doing this and I think it's pretty cool looking. 
So I want to be them when I grow up someday. And <laughs> I am going to do the fancy cutting too. And it's really not hard. You just leave a little black border around all this stuff. You can see how easy this is, right? Oh, my bead just broke. Look at it. See that? My friend Lori made this for me. Darn it. Lori, if you're watching, I need a new scissor charm. Look at that. Just fell right off of there. Darn it. Okay, so then I thought this would be the perfect time to use the mini black dimensionals. Now, you guys know that these dimensionals are available. You get a sheet of mini dimensionals in the black. Well, you get several sheets in one pack. And you get full-size dimensionals in the black. This is the perfect time to use them because if somebody tips my card to the side, they're not going to see white dimensionals under my black layer and how cool am I going to be? I don't know if it really matters, but it really does look nicer. If anybody ever would say to me, you know, I saw that you used white dimensionals on that black layer, I would be like, are you serious right now? Yeah. Here we go. Hey, lady. Now. What are we going to stamp on the inside? We should have done this before because now it's very dangerous. Thinking of you. This is the perfect time to be sending out those cards, right? Thinking of other people. And I'm just going to stamp this right here. Oh, thank goodness I didn't mess it up. I should probably do that before y'all glue it together. Thinking of you. Hey, lady. Thinking of you. This is a perfect time to send out cute cards like this. Now, I have an envelope here someplace. Here it is. And let me move all my beads out of the way. I'm sad. I do have another charm with scissors with charms on it that Lori gave me. Lori is so sweet. She always gives me the nicest little presents. Okay, so I decided that I also wanted to stamp on my envelope. So I'm going to put a scrap of cardstock in here so that my stamp and blends, when I color on it, don't bleed through my envelope. That's just a really good little tip. Oh, you know what else? Hang on. Here's what I forgot to do. I forgot to do this. You've got all these cutie patootie little ladybugs. I should have done this before I glued it in there because now it's going to be tricky. So watch how I fix my little mistake. I'm going to pull this in here, tuck it under there just a little bit. I start in the middle and then I stamp another one. I just want them to look like they're going all the way across my layer. I almost forgot that part. Yay! Pretty smart, right? It's like, yeah, Kelly, we all knew that. <laughs> Let me close this up so we don't have any disasters. I'm going to bring in my dark, real red here. And I'm just going to color in my little ladybugs. Aren't they sweet? This one just on the shell. Do you remember a few years ago? I don't know about where you live, but we had an Asian ladybug invasion a few years ago, and they were just everywhere. They were horrible. They weren't real ladybugs. Those were fake ladybugs, not the real ones. Look at how sweet that is. Okay, envelope. So I wasn't really sure what to do with my envelope, but which one should I use? Should I use the one with the little flower? Because that's pretty cute. I think I'm going to. And I haven't even mounted that one yet. So let's get that out because that'll be cute. I'll use the one with the little flower. And let's see. If I put this right here, can I fit that right there and then still get... Hmm. How about if we do this and then that over there? Maybe. Let's see. I could jack the whole thing up, right? I really wanted to use this flower because it's cute. And I'm going to put this right up here. Okay. And then let me get this on a block. And then we're going to do our little ladybug. We might be getting a new envelope out. Nobody knows. Ah, oh, perfect. Okay. So then what I'm going to do here is color this in. So here's our cute little ladybug. Remember, I still have that piece of paper in there, too. That is going to save my envelope from bleeding through to the other side. You don't want that. That would be very ugly. 
and then we would have to get out a new envelope. Okay, there's our little ladybug. Oh, let's get her little head up here too. And then I'm gonna do Daffodil Delight on the center of my flower. And also for this little flower, as long as I have it out. Why not? I have to give her a little skin tone with the ivory. Here we go. Her little legs and her little hands. And here comes her cute little face. This just adds some color, I guess. I don't think ladybugs have flesh-toned faces. <laughs> but mine does. And then I need some green. So let's get out our granny apple. That's a bright, fun color. I'm going to do the cards that Haley made for me had a lot of coloring on them with blends. And she said, oh, she's not doing that again. Well, she had to make 16 of them, and she hasn't stamped in a while. It was a lot. But I'm like, oh, that's nothing. I've made way more than that. You know, you know how mom is. Like, oh, stop it. <laughs> No, she did a beautiful job, and she really was coloring meticulously. I'm not quite as careful as she is, and that's why she's better. <laughs> she's a better stamper than I am. Look at how cute that is. Okay, what do you think? Well, let's get that close up. Is this going to be the cutest thing ever in the mail? Yeah, I think so. I think that whoever I decide to send this to, hey, lady, thinking of you is going to absolutely adore it. What do you guys think? I see lots of hearts. Yeah, Barb says she didn't like Granny Apple Green, but it's growing on her. And you know what? I'm going to flip you guys around. I was also not a fan of Granny Apple Green at all, but um, it has grown on me too. And now it's my go-to green all the time. Ooh, don't look at that mess over there. Well, it's not bad, but it's just a lot, right? Hang on. So yeah, it, it wasn't it wasn't on the top of my list, but now I use it all the time. It's my color. So isn't she just the cutest? And then you see, can you guys see those little the little um, lines in there? That is precious, right? Oh, and then I have to show you Shelly's card. Remember this from yesterday? Yeah. That was Shelly's card. So he, she used a square and then the scallop square with silver foil. Put her bow over here. Um, sweet friend right over here. And she used the Bird Ballad Designer Series paper and the leaves. Is that what that's called? The leaves embossing folder. Can you see that embossing folder? Let me see if I can get some more. Oh, that was terrible. Anyways, there's a leaves embossing folder on there. Thank you so much for the share. Don't forget to share my video. That really helps me out. Tomorrow, where is, um, what are we going to be giving away tomorrow? Tomorrow, oh goodness, I don't know. I do have a greeting set, itty bitty Christmas. Now I know Christmas is over, but... Hmm. There's a couple things in here that you could use that aren't Christmas. Um, have a sugar. Oh, no, that doesn't work. Oh, what? Yum. That. But you could keep this for Christmas. And I just think it was so very generous of Cindy to send all these for me to share with you guys, right? That's, I thought that was so sweet. So I'm going to keep that right up there. But don't forget, you guys. If you're already a discount shopper or a business builder with Stamping Up, this is obviously not for you because you have a team leader. But if any of you are looking to um, join a team or if you'd like to get a discount on your product, before March 31st, you get to choose any stamp set you want from Stampin' Up. You'll get this pack of designer series paper. You'll also get this little guillotine trimmer. All of that is on top of your kit that you get to personally order anything you want in it. You get um, a you get to order $125 other than this stuff. This is just on top of that. $125 in product, anything you want, for $99 in tax. You don't have any shipping on it. 
Then um, you also get a paper pumpkin kit. This whole thing is worth about $215. If you were to pick a really expensive stamp set and then figure in the cost of all these things and the paper pumpkin kit and all the things, it's about $215 worth for $99 plus tax. Then when you want to order Stampin' Up! products, you can get a 20% discount on everything you order in the future. And you get to be part of my team. Now, when I say team, I know a lot of people think, oh, I'm not doing what you do. I am not going to make a business. I'm retired or um, I already have a job. I don't need a job. You don't have to. This is your hobby. You can just get a discount on it, but you can be part of something so much bigger in joining a team of other stampers. So I have a private Facebook group. Um, we have a team meeting every month, no matter where you live, you can attend that just like we are tonight, virtually. Um, Linda just said that the Hallmark Channel is bringing back Christmas movies. I saw that on the news today and I think that's really sweet too. Linda is one of my team members. She's a discount shopper with me. But you get to be, be a part of something so much bigger than stamping at home by yourself. You get to be part of a team. and. My Facebook page is really fun for the team. We um, post on there daily. People ask questions. I do a Facebook Live every Tuesday, um, a question and answer Facebook Live for my team members. I send out um, team news every Wednesday. Every Wednesday, we make a Wednesday update video that Stampin' Up! Um, Stampin' Up! posts updates every Tuesday, and we make a video out of it and add more to it, you know, like our advice or tips or knowledge like if they're talking about some type of a Stampin' Up! event coming up we're like oh yeah and last time when I went to on stage we did this this and this and it was so much fun and you'll want to make sure you swap and do you get to be part of all that stuff swapping also this is a swap card from my team meeting that Shelly Glassick um, made and I I she sent this to me I get to keep it so it's a lot of fun. I see Wendy Sue is on here. She is part of my team. Patty just popped in. She's also part of my team. Um, so if you are interested in information on that, you can always find it on my blog, www.astampabove.com. In the right-hand column is $99 kit. Click on that and you'll find all question and answer, a little video showing you how to order your kit, all kinds of information on there. There are no strings attached. If you order the kit and you decide that you don't want to order any more product with your discount, you don't have to. But if you do, then you get all of my online classes for free. You also, um, what else do you get? You get all my online classes for free and you get a 20% discount. Oh, my mind. <laughs> Sometimes I don't know where my head goes. But you do get a 20% discount. It's a lot of fun being on my team. So if you have any questions about that, let me know. And I see somebody says she missed my live. Um, Marty, don't worry. I'm going to share this onto my page. You can watch it from the beginning again. And uh, Patricia Smith is on here. She says, love being on your team. And Cindy says, you get access to me. Like, you can ask me questions anytime. I will help you do whatever it is you want to do with this. If you want to be a discount shopper and you have a stamping question, I'm here. If you want to build a business, I can help you do that. I'm here. It's whatever you want. It is customizable to your liking. Thank you, Chris. Thanks, Jeanne. I really appreciate it. Okay, I'm getting hungry. I know I don't want to leave you guys. This has been a lot of fun. I was hoping to get two cards made for you tonight, but I just couldn't make it happen. That video that didn't upload caused me a big lag. Um, it can take a long time to upload a video, and then once it gets uploaded to YouTube, I have to put in all my information and all my links and, and, and link links and a cover photo and all the things, all the things that go into place to make it happen. And it really slowed me down today when my upload failed. And I don't know why. There must have been like a little glitch in the internet today or something. Maybe it's because all the people are home on the internet. I don't know. But I don't think that should have anything to do with it. So my message to you guys is again, please share your love of stamping. This is a perfect card to send to a friend who may be really bummed out about their situation right now. 
I know that there's a lot of parents out there right now that are going crazy because their kids are at home. They might need a little pick-me-up. They might need to know that somebody sympathizes with them, that somebody just cares enough to brighten their day, right? I can't tell you how happy I was today when those flowers came from Connie. Like, it was the nicest, sweetest thing. I couldn't believe that she sent me flowers to congratulate me on my anniversary and to thank me for doing Facebook Lives. Like, how sweet is that? I know she's a very kind and considerate and thoughtful person, right? You be kind, considerate, and thoughtful. Make some cards and start sending them out. People need a little joy right now. This is what we can do to make people a little happier right now. So, spread the joy, spread the laughter, send a card. I challenge you to send a card to somebody that you haven't talked with in a year. Just look in your address book and say, you know what, I haven't talked to my college friend in over a year, I'm just gonna send her a card. Hey lady, thinking of you. Hope everything's going great with you in Cincinnati. I haven't, we haven't talked in a long time. I know things are crazy right now, but I just wanted to send you a smile. That's what I would do. So, Robin says, what are Stamping Rewards Starter Kit code? They are, they're nothing you need to worry about, and that's in my video. So, if you were to have a party, when you have a party, you earn Stamping Rewards, and I'll show you. It's on page 16 of the First Release Celebration book. It's also in the back of your catalog. You earn rewards, right? So when you order $150, you earn $15 or 10% up to oh, this up to $300, then you earn 12%. If your order is between 301 and 449, you you earn 14%. Those are rewards. Now, you can take those rewards as a party hostess or just a person with a big order. We don't judge. You can apply that towards your starter kit, towards your discount shopper kit. You can use your $15 that you earn here and put it towards your kit. So now it's not $99, it's $15 less, and I can't do all that math, I'll tell you that, because that's tricky. But that's what the starter kit code is. If you had a party and I was your demonstrator, I would say to you before we closed out your party and you chose your free items, do you want to apply this to a discount shopper kit, a starter kit, because you can take that money and apply it towards a kit. That's a discount, or that's a starter kit code. So that's a good question. That is addressed in the video that I have on my blog that talks about how do you order your kit. So the other thing is, the first thing you're gonna see when you do go to order a kit it's going to ask you, the first item you're going to enter is your free stamp set. Make it an expensive one. It's the free one. So, but the other, the other thing I want to tell you is make sure it's something that you really like. Don't just buy it because it costs a lot, okay? You make sure it's a stamp set that you've had your eye on that you really want because I've done that before when we've had promotions. I just order the really expensive ones if I get a free stamp set. And I don't even hardly use them because it wasn't really something that I had my heart set on. So if it's the difference between a $20 set that you absolutely love and a $30 set that, yeah, yeah, you know, get the $20 set. But make sure that the free set is the most expensive one on your list. That's a better way to put it because it's free, right? Okay. Um, Barb says she didn't know that and she's a demo. I'm sorry, Barb, <laughs> but yeah, um, that's how it goes. That's how you do that, and um, that's why it's a really nice thing to be a part of a team where your team lead is a very active business person because I have to know all these things for when my team comes to me and asks me the questions, I need to know the answers, so I make sure that I'm up to date on just about everything. I'm reading the weekly updates. I am, you know, reading into the career plan. So when somebody says, um, how big of a discount can you get on your products every month? You can get up to 38% based on the amount that you buy or sell in a month. I know these things. I'm not good with math, but I know the things. 
because I have to, because I am the team leader for several hundred people. So yeah, and I love it. I absolutely love my team. They're amazing. Um, I'm very grateful to each and every, every one of them for sticking with me. So Francie says, who's getting perch? Yeah. And Cindy just said, Barb, she had no idea what she was missing until she found me. I thank you so much. You're so sweet. I really, really appreciate that. And Candy says she didn't think of that. She will call them first if they don't accept cards. Then she'll have 40 cards to go see. Yeah, please make sure you're calling your nursing homes and asking if they will take cards. Some of them, I don't know why, but they're saying no. But I think a lot of them are. So, yeah. Oh, and Cindy was missing a lot of perks um, before she found me as a Stampin' Up! purchaser or customer. So, Diana wants to know, will you see me tomorrow? You darn right you'll see me tomorrow. I will be back. I don't know when. I have got to get this kit class cut, packaged, and in the mail. So that didn't happen today. I was hoping to get started on it early. But, um, yeah, another great place is to donate your cards to fundraisers. That's what I do with my excess cards. I put them in a photo box that you can get from Hobby Lobby. It's, a, it's called a photo box, and it holds photos, but it also holds cards nicely. You can fit 70 cards and envelopes in one box, and I donate those. When somebody comes to me and says, we're doing a fundraiser, do you, can you donate to us? You bet I can. And they fight over those boxes of cards, too, I have to tell you. People love homemade cards. So, Linda says she loves the new paper pumpkin. I did not get it yet. I was hoping it would come today because I need to make alternate projects for the paper pumpkin blog hop that happens next Thursday. So that's another great idea, you guys, is to buy a pa paper pumpkin prepaid subscription and give it, have it sent to somebody. Have it sent to a person who is self-quarantined that you know is a crafter. They will love it. Um, paper pumpkin is so fun to put together. Oh, I know. I had a kit set out here. So I said I'd give away this itty bitty Christmas. When you guys are talking about paper pumpkin and then my head is going kit, I'm going to be giving away the card kit that was sent to me too. So card kit, also going to be a giveaway tomorrow and this is going to be separate. So we'll have two giveaways, itty bitty Christmas and a card kit. Yay. Okay. Did I get everybody's questions? Yeah, this is a really awesome time for paper pumpkin and Mary says she loves the paper pumpkin. Uh, who was that? Dana Pedersen would love to be a part of this team or virtual stamping. Yeah, it's really fun. It's a lot of fun and it's only $99. Okay. Um, I think, oh, Je Jean's paper pumpkin kit came today. Good for you. Mine isn't here yet. I wanted it. And I'm just looking to see if there a lot of people got their kits. Mine will probably come tomorrow. Barb says that she gets two paper pumpkin kits each month because um, she gives it to her downline as a thank you. That's a great idea. So Lori said, the old man here says, you look like me. I do kind of look like you, don't I? <laughs> I know, Lori. That's kind of funny. Yeah, and Lisa uses her paper pumpkin kit. She makes it with her 11-year-old daughter, so it's something they can do together. It's not a lot of, there's no prep work, right? You just need your scissors and your adhesive and um, a block, and you can do paper pumpkin. Is there any minimum times you must place and order if you join your team? So, Linda, that's a great question. All of the answers to these questions are on my blog, but I'm going to tell you. If you want to stay active with my team, you need to place a minimum $300 per quarter. You get a full quarter to do that. So if you joined right now in March, your quarter wouldn't start until April. You'd have April, May, and June. Then you get put in pending for 30 days. So you'd actually have until the end of July to put in a $300 order. Now, a nice thing to do is get some friends to order with you if you don't want to foot that whole thing. But if you don't happen to put in 
$300 worth of orders by the end of July, nothing happens. You just become inactive. I don't hate you. Um, nobody thinks bad of you. But you can take advantage of that discount up until that time without meeting your minimums. That's the way Stampin' Up! has um, structured this. And I go for it. See if it's for you. That's what I always say. You don't have anything to lose. You're going to get $215 worth of product for $99 plus tax. If you bought $250 worth of product, you'd have to pay $21.50 in shipping. There's no shipping on the kit. It's free. The only thing is, you can't go over $125 in the items that you select as part of your kit. You can't go over that amount by anything. So you have to sit down and figure out what you're going to order in your kit and not go over $125. Then, if you have more you want, you can come back once you order your kit. You're going to get an ID number and a password. You can go in and place the order and get your 20% discount. So it's a really good question. And am I missing any others? Wanda says she loves the extra stamp set in the paper pumpkin this month. Oh, fabulous. I can't wait to see it. Oh, and Alexa says she makes her paper pumpkin kit with three, six, and eight-year-olds. Yeah, it's super, super fun. Kelly likes doing her cards with her mom. That's another good one. Marcia says, can you become active again? Yes, you can. As soon as you are dropped, you can sign up or order that kit from the same person right away. If you want to order it from another demonstrator, you have to wait 90 days. That's a good question. But yeah, you can order the kit right away again if you, um, if you become inactive. Yeah, and Cindy says, the discount really makes it only $260 a quarter because you're getting 20% off. Thank you, Cindy. I completely forgot about that. There's so many different things, right? Then we don't get your classes and videos for free, but I don't think that will happen to me anytime soon. Right. If you go inactive, you don't get my online classes for free. Um, once you buy the kit from me and you place your first discount order, getting your discount, you get all my online classes for free and you can go take a look at them and just email me and tell me which ones you want free. That's hundreds and hundreds of dollars worth of free classes on top of your already amazing kit, right? No, and it does not have to be $300 all at once. You can order in whatever increments you want. You can wait until the end of the quarter and order 300. You can order 100 this month, 150 next month, and 50 the next month. However you want to do it, it just needs to total up to $300. Uh, no, Melinda's asking, does the $99 also get you a celebration item? It does not. Cel that would be double dipping. Celebration is free items for your orders. Um, when you order product this is not an order. This is a starter kit or a discount shopper kit. You don't get celebration stuff. But once you do order your kit, you can order. You do get celebration when you use your discount. So if you put in a hundred dollar order, you're going to get two items out of here, or one if it's a hundred dollar thing. You know what I mean? Um, you still get all the benefits you get as a customer, and you get the discount. So. Marilyn says, I think if they join today, they have until September to get to the 300. Is that something new, Marilyn, that Stampin' Up! is doing because of the situation we're in? Because that may be the case, but if not, it is the first full quarter. If you join in March, you will have until the end of June and then a 30-day grace period. If you would have joined in January, you would still have till the end of June because then that wouldn't be a full quarter, Right. So unless, no, Stampin' Up! didn't announce anything like that today. They would not have until September. They would actually have until really the end of July. But that that's a good thing to think about because you get a full quarter. So from now, which is the 20th of March, until the end of March wouldn't be a full quarter, right? So then they get the next whole quarter, which would be the end of June. Oh, and Barb says she uses her 25% discount to cover fast shipping. I know, I'm always second day airing stuff. I'm terrible. I meant through September 30th to get to 300. Nope, you would need to do it by the end of July. 
And Jerry says she spends way more than 300. I know, right? I do too. It's crazy. All right, you guys, I think I'm going to let you go so I can go get something to eat. And new quarter starts April 1st. Yep, you're right, Vicki. So they have that full quarter. September is the last quarter. You're absolutely correct. So we've got April, May, June. That's one quarter. July, August, September. That's two quarters. And then October, November, December. That's three quarters. Do you get a special during celebration? Yes, yes, you get a free stamp set, a pack of sampler paper, and this mini trimmer. That's the promotion during celebration when you buy the discount shopper kit. All that stuff added on there. Plus you get a paper pumpkin kit. Okay, plus you're only spending $99, you get free shipping, and you get to order $125 in any product you want. Celebration, Kim, is not going to be extended, I don't believe. I don't think Stampin' Up! is leaning that way. They have other promotions coming up. We have other things happening. So that's all been predetermined regardless of what's really going on right now um, in the world. Bev says, I don't understand. I joined in January, but my quarter doesn't end until June. That is correct, Bev. You get a full quarter. And if you started someplace in January, that's not a full quarter, right? Hi, Lori Osborne. Okay, just checking out the rest of the questions here. Steve did not make dinner today. I think I might call and go pick up fish because it's Friday night fish fry in Wisconsin. <laughs> yeah. Okay, I think I have answered. I hope I've answered all your questions. I do not know when I'll be live tomorrow. I'll get something figured out and I will pop in to stamp with you because I love it. I love sharing this time with you, and I just think it's a good thing to do, regardless of whether it's my anniversary or not, right? Yeah. It's a lot of fun. Okay. Last check. Hi, Lisa. Yes, watch the replay. It's fun. Go eat your dinner, for gosh sakes. <laughs> Thank you so much. Bye, you guys.